Y'all already know what it is, man. SAMG. The music out of Harry Frog. Yeah. It's caucuses on the sidewalk. They passing around plastic now to back you down, so I talk. In the city and some cranberry clocks They used to be weak color But I've been standing where they bleed, fella The Red Sea was parted by God using Moses Many are called to do it, only few are chosen Sneakers running over sewers like Carl Lewis Blood, sweat, and tears, I need my pairs to know about devotion If I don't tell them, I fell them, so what's with the commotion? No liquor on my breath, yet I'm drunk off the villa's potion Gotta be doused with that spirit within Without it, you fearing men And while they still in ignorance, they see you clearly posing Responsible to something so colossal Modern day apostle in front of crack houses and brothels Praying that the power of the father is present in rap Cause that's the only gift I can give him Nothing's realer than that This is the Antime Apostle Just out in the city of Baltimore, East Baltimore uh, It was this neighborhood that I grew up in uh, I learned how to ride bikes in I learned how to, you know Clean my backyard and all that stuff and this is the same community that taught me how to sell drugs, destroy my people. And years later I came back and wrote a book about this neighborhood and the very neighborhood that I destroyed. This is the actual house that I used to be my mission house in. Right here. And any given night, people that were strung out on drugs, they was hungry. Uh, they could come and get something to eat, no matter what type of night it was. Uh, in the vacant houses that's in the neighborhood, like this one, I used to put all type of stuff up, you know, to encourage the people in the neighborhood, you know, that our neighborhood is worth something. Here used to be all African-American pictures of, of, the, of the struggles that we came through, like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, uh, people being hung. There used to be an African-American flag hung here. And I believed in the community and on Bloody Sunday, the eve of Bloody Sunday 10 years ago, uh, the police, me and two other preachers was here feeding the people, uh, giving out clothes and playing the gospel music. And they beat us up. And now that I know because Baltimore, Maryland and John Hopkins was doing this thing called intimate domain, the only way that you could take a community and do what you need to do with it, you gotta make it worth nothing. So they destroyed it with the drugs and stuff. So they ain't want nothing better in here. But for me, I just want to make a difference. And the cross right over there, I put that in the ground to let the people know. Uh, so every time they come up, they can see that eight foot cross on the ground uh, to just bring hope to people that lost hope. How many people must lose their life for us to wake up and make a difference? People have lost their families here. People have lost their sons, grandsons, granddaughters. Uh, our young women are being prostituted. You come out here later on in the day, you're gonna see them out here, you're gonna see people, young people being used to sell drugs. And my cry is, why are we as the body of Christ doing anything? We, Jesus told us to go out in the hedges and highways and byways and compel men to come. He didn't tell us to stay in the buildings, man. I'm not knocking you if you're in that building, but man, Look at it, look around you. This was one nice neighborhood at one time, but they had to destroy it. Man, that's sad. Now I'm asking people who could get this message and hear it, let us make a difference as the body of Christ. Do you hear the cries of the people? Do you really hear them? Or do you ignore the cries? That young baby that's going to bed tonight, hungry because mama strung out on crack, and we supposed to be the ones that's making a difference? Tell me something. Help me understand. Help me understand how did we get to a place like this where we forgot where we came from, where we forgot where we allowed the powers to be to tear down our community. Tell me, help me understand so that I can make a difference and that we can make a difference together. We got a lot of stuff going on, but ain't nobody doing nothing. Ain't nobody concerned. Look at it. People are dying. How many more deaths must take place before we wake up to the truth? These could be our children. These could be our loved ones. Matter of fact, they are. Because the African proverb said, take a whole village to raise one child. Come on, man. 
How far have we forgot about love? I grew up in this neighborhood. My grandmother used to make me clean the alleys before I went outside, you know, just to be scrubbing the steps. Look at the steps, they was marble steps. Have you ever seen marble steps look like that? Come on, man, this is ridiculous. But this is what they had to do to take it away from us so they can build their plan up so Hopkins can come and do what they want to do. But you know what? I, I blame our future, I blame our past leaders because they knew the plan, but they got bought out, sold out for money. Is money valuable than a soul? I just asked you that question today. Do you hear the cries of the people? I can hear it. Can you hear it? What you willing to do for it? This is a real message, man. A heart feeling message. Just imagine growing up in a neighborhood where it was full of joy, full of happiness. But now all you hear is cries, shootings, murders, and all that. What are you willing to do now? Are you willing to come outside of those buildings and make a difference? Are you willing to, the resources that we take up in the church, rebuild someone else's life? That's what Jesus commanded us to do? Really? Money's no good if you can't help people. So listen, if you are hearing this message, this is the end time apostle saying cry out. Reach out to the lost. Reach out to the brokenhearted. Reach out to them that can't even read. Our babies can't even read. That's why they're building jail cells. Because they know if they don't get an education, they're gonna put them in the prisons. Listen, have you ever looked at it? Now they're building jails. You can buy stock in jails. Come on, but they're closing the schools. Let's keep it real. Is that the plan that God has for his people? Just very humble, I thank God to be able to cry out to you and say, you can make a difference. We all are world changers. Yeah, I used to sell drugs. Yeah, I've been shot in and out of prison institution, but it didn't stop that God had a plan for my life. And now I'm living out my destiny. And that's reaching and saving them that are lost. Hey, how the neighborhood was, was at one time and how God can change it from a different perspective. Yeah. Huh? When God changed my heart. You know what I mean? <laughs> when you was a part of the problem, now it's time to fix the problem that you started. Again, this is the end time apostle. I'm uh, out here with some people in the community and just talking to them and they grew up in this neighborhood. And this neighborhood never used to look like this. Look, look right there. Look at that. That's a sore sight. This is what the city of Baltimore allowed to come by they letting drugs flood our neighborhood and all of that stuff. People have lost their children, their families, and everything. And I want them to explain to them how they feel today about the neighborhood. Um, I think that um, the yeah, a lot of stuff do need to be changed, and we do need help in our community, as as with our children and adults as well. So it's like it ain't the same anymore. No it ain't. It's just that um, we need to get together and just help each other. Can I ask you a question? How, how do it make you feel knowing that this was their plan for us, like for your sons? Instead of them to finish college, they go for them to go to jail, then go to college. You know what I mean? There's no nothing. Look, you got churches on every corner, and we supposed to be helping each other. I'm not gonna lie to you about nothing, but this is how I feel. Uh, we ain't safe nowhere. No. There's a lot of stuff that's going on everywhere. Schools, shooting, church being molested. I mean, it's a lot of stuff, and actually. Um, we can't stand up for ourselves, so we need some type of support and help. So it's like that, I mean, closing down recreations and closing down good school and all that and stuff, it's not helping us. It's like beating us up for real, so, I mean. Do you believe that Jesus can change that? Always. 
always. That's only one person I believe in. So, yeah. no, I'm not but you gotta have faith. Right. And you gotta believe in it right. for order that man to help you. You know, I'm not a hypocrite. I used to sell drugs very myself. I you know, did too. Yeah, so, hey, I mean, so, hey, you know, each is own. Yeah. So I come back and just say, look, if God can change me, He can change anybody. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I'm real with it. I ain't no saint. No plan to be no saint, but I can't tell you how, as a growing up as a kid on Wolf Street, to see how my grandma would make me wipe the steps down before I go outside. Exactly. Now look at the steps. They was marble. You can't even tell they marble no more. Nope. So I just thank you so much for allowing me to just. Take some time with this and hey, we're gonna keep praying and hopefully somebody can see this footage and be concerned about our city. We're gonna make a difference. Alright? Lord, you know I don't wanna write this, but it's all I can think about. As soon as I picked up my pen, this is what the ink started bleeding out. I woke up this morning, timeline hella thick. Folks like biz, did you hear about Connecticut? At the elementary school, no I didn't, so I turned the news on. What I saw made me hella sick. A dude ran up in the school with his tools drawn. Clips flying, 26 line on the school floor. 20 of them kids, homie, picture that. Parents gotta live with the fact they won't get them back. Shot like 50, but they ain't get to rap. When you're 6 or 7 and you done 8, 9, homie, it's a rap. It's a rap. Seeing what we become got me finna snap. Heaven's home, this hell holds just where I'm at. So many other things that I see here Got me feeling like I don't wanna be here But I know it's a reason I'm still breathing And the Lord's keeping me here But I can't just sit back and watch them pass away When I know, I know, I know, I know that there's a better way Help me understand, I won't always understand Lord. As long as you a God and I am just a man Who am I to say we should move God's hand? Huh? And who is man that have to approve God's plan? They like, where is your God? I'm like, I don't know Mostly, he's far more is turning to a bake Every, Everywhere you look, is nothing but vacant lots and abandoned buildings You probably looking at maybe 10,000 to 15,000 residents that we located. If you look at a whole block and maybe four people to a house, five people to a house, three bedroom, and one block, you probably looking at about 250 people right there. And if you look around, everything is just empty. So, and, and, and it's nothing being built but near the hospital, and they working their way up, but that's another 10 years. So what, what about if I told you this was the plan? They had to destroy a community to build their community. Right, yeah. they had I to make it. They had to make, that. Yeah, so they had to make it. They had to, they could have been stopped drugs. They could have been did all that, but they had to make this community go for nothing so that they could take it back. But I believe that Jesus can change all that. You know what I mean? I believe that the power of God can change anything, a place that's desolated, God can bring life back to a dying place, you know what I mean? And I just ask you today to just, hey man, don't uh, things look the way it is, we the ones can make the difference. We bring life to this world, not this building, we bring life. I'm just tired of our young people being destroyed, I'm just tired of the same thing, men on the corner, and they ain't doing nothing, you know what I mean? We have no one really to look up to you. I'm 41 years old. Imagine what the next 21 got to look up to you, the 18 year, the seven, the six, the five. You know, what they had to look up to you? If the man is supposed to be the one that leads the home, but there's no man in place, how can God move in order? Our women are running our homes, man. And that's not the will of God. And that's probably the reason why it is the way it is. I thought with the internet, with laptops and with all the things that you know we didn't have because right now if you call somebody you can call them up and get stuff with just about anybody because everybody got a phone but back in the day when people didn't have phones you had to catch them when they was home and that worked pretty good you know um but now so technology has technology really, really destroyed. Yeah, yeah, because, destroyed. Yeah, because yeah, now, because now the technology of, now it took jobs yeah. and everything. This is, this is yeah, dumb as the door now. Mm -hmm. You know, but I can remember. This, that's the I knew, If I had your phone number, 
Uh, it was in my head when yeah. I wanted to call whoever I wanted to call. Now, you probably yeah. don't even know nobody's yeah. number because it's all stored in the phone. But the game changed. Progress. The game yeah. changed. Progress. See, back in the day, yeah. you carried a newspaper. Yeah. Kept a newspaper yeah. in that yeah. pocket. Yeah. You dressed yeah. real good. Yeah. It was a drug game yeah. back in the day. Yeah. But you had to yeah. knock on the door. You had to know somebody that noticed somebody to knock on the door, okay? If you didn't know somebody who knew somebody, then you couldn't get served. There weren't no open air markets. Open air markets, okay? And, and they ingested a crack cocaine, right? Changed the whole community, okay? Because they ingested the crack cocaine, right? Changed the whole complexion of this community. So how do you how does that make you feel knowing that we become victims of something? My grandmother used to work scrubbing people's floors, making 25 hours a day to have a house that we could have to live in. And because of crack cocaine, heroin, now what they work hard for, the city take them for taxes. How, how do that, how do that, I don't know about you, but that makes me feel real bad. A woman, a woman or a man, listen, 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 a woman or man that works from generations, so maybe you their grandson, that will have a future, but now look at it. But the, the whole design was, is, is because the whole way the system was designed was, is that we could never own, okay, what we own. Okay. But we did own it. Yeah, no, we never own it, right? You know, because because of uh, uh, because it's just such a thing. It's called property tax. No, we know that. Okay. We own the house, but okay, we didn't own yeah. the land. But you never own the land. Right. You never so own the land. Yeah. It's never right. yours, and that's why John Hopkins. Okay, John Hopkins has taken over the East. University has taken over from Baltimore Street all the way up to Curry Street on the West. Okay, so the conglomeration. Okay, of the insurance companies, okay, that diversify and subsidize, okay, these medical institutions, right, have destroyed our community, right? Okay, our, our community is destroyed because of John Hopkins. You gotta tell me I know. Okay, okay, I'm a big brother. Okay, I mean, okay, because they tore all this down, okay, for a reason, right? You know why they tore it down? Okay, to make room. To make room. Okay, to make room. Okay, it, 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 it's called sociological jurisprudence, right? Okay, so if you move out the indigenous people, okay, who were us, the poor, okay, that lived around here, right, then you can bring into the conglomeration, right? Okay, John Hopkins has taken over Dallas Street, Castle Street, okay, all Preston. the way to Broadway. All from 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 from, 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 from no. Let's start from from Orleans Street. Yeah. Okay. Up until. Say yet? Up, yeah. No. Up until Oliver Street. But my, my, my question is simply this, brother. Yeah. You know what I mean, I, I love all that demographic, all that stuff. But what are we gonna do to help our brothers get off the drugs? Yeah. What are we gonna do to help our brothers stop destroying themselves? You know what I mean? That's, that's the bigger question. Jesus, I come today to let you know that Jesus had the answer. You know what I mean? You might have been believing, but I know I used to be out here hustling. I've been shot, all of that, but it was only the power of Jesus that delivered me, man. And I'm going to tell you something. Right around the corner, anybody in this neighborhood could touch to it. I did a lot in this community. Clean up, feed people, everything. Because I want to see the better of the community. You know what I mean? But it wouldn't work because they had a plan for it. So what are we gonna do now? What's, 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 what's the next thing we're gonna do? The next step is yeah. the next step is right is, is that we gotta reorientate. We gotta change, I'm sorry. Yeah, we gotta reorientate, yeah, I know, I know right? Okay. And our, 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 our main mode yeah. must, must, must be on to, to, to reindoctrinate, right? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a Murbo Mustang, right? Okay. A high school diploma is useless, right? Without a skill to go with it along with that diploma. Okay? So you give a, 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 a kid an education and take them to 12 years 
13 years of education, right? But he has no way, okay, to 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 actualize the, the intellectual quotient that you have is still with him, okay? Okay, you, and you got Dunbar, you got dentistry, okay? And each school is trying to diversify, right? Okay, but what is happening is, right? The skill set, right? Okay, okay. It's not keeping up with the technological age. Okay, and that, that's what the whole problem is. Let me ask you this though. Not, the skill set not keeping up with the technology. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what I really believe happened. We turned our back on God, and whenever you turn your back on the living God, this is what you get because God is merciful. God is wonderful. He He protected all of us. When we stop serving God, I ain't talking about religion, I'm not talking about a building, but God, the true and living God, this is what happens when we turn our back on God. Look at it. People don't even honor God for nothing no more, man. They honor things more than they do God. And it's God that give man the ability to operate in those things. And you too, yeah, I too, they go along with that. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I agree with you on that. That's true. 100%. Stop trying to help some of these brothers with these drugs. You gotta get some better programs. You know what I mean? I was out here, you know me. I was out here the same time you was out here. We was out here together. You know what I mean? And the things that we was doing, we knew we wasn't supposed to be doing, but that's what we was doing. But the God in our life, you know what I mean? They were rude. He made a difference. They were rude. He made a difference in my life. I mean, off drugs, but, or good wine, smoke but, coke in but, seven but, but, but years. But they were rules. I'm one of my second year of adult going home. But be very So ain't so hey, that's because of hey, so be I took my life over and asked him for some help. Okay. That's how you help. Okay, but and now, 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 you, now you, today, you, people is tied into Michael Kors. <laughs> okay, and people is tied into East Saint Laurent. Okay, right? Okay, they tied into Nike. Nike. Okay, <laughs> and all of those things that are sportive. Okay, of a materialistic nature, not of an ecclesiastical nature. We're not even following his. Okay, we 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 worry about the weather. Okay, only because the weather is a nuisance, right? Mm. It, it, it's not even a sign, right? He said because at the end of time, right, that we won't know the difference between the seasons because of the changing of the leaves on the trees, okay? And everybody's so worried about the Almighty, okay? God has been replaced, okay? Okay, and you can't serve two masters. Either you serve God or you serve the dollar. Okay, the man so much caught up in the materialistic, okay, that he will sell his soul, and he the soul the soul. And we didn't abandon each other, and we didn't abandon our community just for a dollar. Just for a dollar. Do you know, do you know Not the, God. Very, the very definition of currency is a constant flow, if it's not moving, it's not working in its proper form, money is created to help people. You understand? Listen. When we start loving money, remember back in the day, my grandma, I don't know about nobody else, my grandma kept food on the stove for somebody in the neighborhood to feed Absolutely. Them. Absolutely. You know, somebody that Absolutely. was in a damn right. way. That a rent party. There you go. Okay. Clean block party. We don't have none of that no more. Okay. There's no operation champ. There's no clean black party. There's nothing that they're tired and unifies together, right? The only thing that unifies together, right? Okay. It, 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 except the Benjamin, okay, except a Benjamin, right, a, a dead president, right, okay, and God ain't dead. Can I do okay. something though, okay? yeah. Yeah. I'm not here for Benjamin, yeah. I'm here for Jesus, yeah. and I want to pray, can I pray today? Yeah, you pray. Come on, let's pray today, I'm man. A Muslim. Yeah. I know you're Muslim, okay. I, hey, I'm not, yeah. hey, I'm okay. not yeah. let you yeah. do nature, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you right now. Yeah, Keep yeah. moving on this corner right here, God. You're doing something that the world said can't be done. When people come together and just lift your name up Amen. above everything, 
God, we give your name praise, glory, and honor. It's because of Jesus, Joshua, that we're here today to give your name praise, glory. Thank you, God, for letting us not be hypocrites, but God, letting us know who we are as a people. We are together, we stand, but divided, we fall. Thank you for my, my past, God, so that I can be their future, Lord God. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here, so I'm grateful, Lord. God, do changes in their lives, cause miracles, signs, and wonders to work in their lives to be able to be able to live and not die and declare the works of you. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, brothers. soup kitchen uh, it started when uh, Pastor Winky that is Winky was my uh, spiritual father uh, I used to do a lot of ministry in the street and he seen me and he allowed me to bring it to the church so now we feed uh, on any given Wednesday uh, close to 100 or better people lunch quality lunches uh, here there's a lot that we do here across the street. We're going to be giving this house away. They're rebuilding it now, gutting it out uh, right across the street there. Um, and uh, after the storm is over uh, and the rain has ceased, there's sunshine. And earlier we took a picture of the house that I got molested in as a kid, man. And I want to talk to somebody today, man. And, You've been molested, man. It's not your fault. Um, I was molested at the age of five years old to seven um, in my grandmother's basement. Um, I never would speak about it, man, because I was so ashamed like I did something wrong. But it wasn't nothing I did wrong. That man took advantage of me. And I want to say to the body of Christ, we need to reach out to the hurting and the lost. People are going through. Uh, we, we easily to, to condemn them. But how about speaking life where there's death. How about 
being their joy? How about being their light in a dark place? It's easy to piss someone down, but can you see the best in them and let them know in spite of all you've been through, this guy has a plan for your life? Um, I really thank Nesta for helping me because I wanted to get this message out to the body of Christ. I've been traveling here recently and there were some things I've seen that I wasn't happy with. You know what I mean? Uh, I was in a city where people were, were in a poverty state, not because they was using drugs or anything. They didn't even have like toilet paper to wipe their behind. They didn't have soap to wipe their bodies, man. But it was churches everywhere. And the church I went to, I was uh, teaching them how to get outside of those buildings, man. Become the church, become the body of Christ. You know, and, and while I was there in Texas for four months, over 170 people got saved. Went to the juvenile facilities, preaching the gospel. Uh, young people were being saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. I mean, people were getting demons cast out. And this is some real stuff, man. Are you ready to do this as the body of Christ? Anybody can do religion. All you got to do is come to the church every Sunday. And that's it. That's, that's religion. But I'm talking about outside of Sunday. Monday here, someone's still suffering. Someone's still hooked to drugs and cocaine. Uh, do you have enough power in you to cause that spirit to leave them? Jesus gave us the power while we're not operating in it. And I'm, I'm calling out to the, the soldiers, man. If you hear this message, man, get in your city and do something. Because you can. Because Jesus empowered us with the power to be able to make change. You are a world changer. Don't let nobody tell you different. I don't care if you don't have an education. Jesus can give you the education you need. If you don't believe in yourself, Jesus can give you the power and the stability to understand who you are, who the image you made, and you made in the image of God. And it's like this, don't let nobody tell you you're not worth anything. So for now, this is my message to the body of Christ. It's time to wake up. Come outside the buildings, man. Souls are dying. The perfect will of Jesus and God is that no man should perish. You get it? Come outside the churches, man. We reach the laws. This is a message from the end time of life. Thank you. This is Anti Apostle again. This is a lot right here. It was a, a lot where people used to throw trash on back in the day, and we turned it into what we call the Garden of Eden. Summer camps go on here, uh, different events for the community. At one time, it was just trash. I mean, drug needles, everything we got with the city, and they was able to build a fence around it. Uh, we planted trees and stuff like that just for the community to be better. And, uh, give youth jobs here during the summer. Me and my friend, Mr. Chris, Christopher Elroy, uh, established Covenant Community Association. Uh, just take a look at it, man. Can you imagine one day, it was nothing but trash, but now it's something different. Years, we got porta potties in there. We turned a vacant place into a place. Okay. The kids can come have fun. In the summertime, we pick up water hoses and stuff with it. Kids can get wet, all that kind of stuff, you know? This is one of the things that I did in the community with the help of my friends and all that. Let's look at that down here. Got different friends down here. Uh, the old man. This, this is Deacon Lloyd Sharp. Uh, he helps maintain that field over there. He has a, another vacant lot down uh, by North Avenue that he has a garden, raising good vegetables and fruit in our community. So there is some hope left in our community. Uh, Deacon Sharp, can you just tell us in 
your own little words, how within the 25 years or longer, how it, the community have changed. It's a long story, it go a long way, Paul. Uh, when you first come in, the community was just a whole lot of people, drug addicts, and all the way through, and robbing, knocking people dead and everything. So I know Mrs. Christian and me was staying out on the corner a whole lot, and protecting, you know, try to cut it down, you know, talk to the people, try to get them to stop doing what they're doing. And, and, Finally, they start moving around, but they going to come back again. They're mostly uh, young people. They all ran in there, right across the street where I live at, 900 block of uh, Lakewood Avenue, and they mainly ended up here all the time. Oh, yeah. That's right. 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 The neighbors that have come together would probably get to get them, you know, get them from around you know. Right. Well, you know me, I ain't going to sit around and nobody know <laughs> yeah. me if I can help it, you know. Mm -hmm. So would you, you say know, that so Jesus would be the answer for this yeah, changing yeah, our but, community? Yeah, he, he always have been the answer, but these people <laughs> just don't want to listen to him, you know. Because a whole lot of people, you know, they don't want to accept the words that come from the Bible. They don't want to try to put it into their own words. God ain't meant for it to be that way. You can't do it that way, so... I know for myself, you know, for like our ambassador always say, you know, you give and you will receive, you know. So and that's the truth, Paul. A whole lot of people don't believe. People in the church won't give nothing, man. Don't believe. They don't, they don't, they don't want, want to be the church no more. Right? And, uh, like we got a trust fund up, you know, we're trying to get our elders to put in. They don't want to put nothing in it. Wow. But, you know, I give mine, man, as much as I can, you know. And just like what people send me these, you know, brush you you know, want. Money for it. I, I, I tell them a little something sometimes, but it's probably Paul when they send you something with a little child with, a, with yeah. all sick and look at it. You know, I, I can't, I hate that, you know. Right, right. They should cut that out, man, because if I got something to give, I'm going to give it to you, you know. Right. So, and, you know, just let my God now. I don't charge them, I don't sell them. So, get us you know. so what I want to say to someone today, if they're listening, this is a true man that's all about community. At least since I knew him, uh, he's been a giving giving back to the community, labored in that very field to keep it cut so the children can have somewhere to play. And look at it, look at the tiller, it tells you. This tiller is gonna allow people to get some good vegetables this summer. Maybe some watermelons or cantaloupe will come through, or anything, all out of his pocket. This is what we should be doing as the body of Christ, giving back out of our pocket to see people's lives better, to see situations change, all about community. How did we lose the sense of being community to being selfish. For now, this is the end time apostle. Thank you so much. Hey now, this is the end time apostle again here with my man right now. Uh, grew up together, man, on these streets of Baltimore, selling the dope, and you know we was kids, man. We didn't really really know the impact it was gonna have on our community, man. But uh, just stopped down to share with Rhino on his footage, man. Let him talk or give his understanding of what. He think the solution is to our problem. I mean, basically, uh, the streets is washed up now. We, we done did what we did. We done served our time, you know. And uh, now, it's, to me, it's nothing out here. You know, it's a lot of killing, a lot of gangs. None of that really existed when we was out here. You know, we was getting money, uh, it was funding, it was gangs then. But now, it's a lot more serious. You know, now we, we became businessmen. Uh, we trying to get to the youth, let them know, you know, the streets is pretty much like a business in itself. If you can do it there, you can do it the right way. Uh, uh, I'm in the construction field. I have my own business. I'm doing swell. Uh, things can get better. It's going to get better. But to the youth out there, the young kids, the younger generation, just keep your head up and do right. And uh, shit will work out for you. Basically, is what it is. I mean, right now, there's a lot of killing, a lot of unnecessary dumb shit out here. Shit that we would... We never seen it like that, you know. We we, we, we had fun in what we were doing, but you're not gonna see those days again. Those days are gone. So I mean, if you if you smart enough out here to count your money and uh, try to do your re up and all that, it's the same scenario. Education is the key. Without the education, you're not going nowhere. So my advice is to stay in school, go to college, get your education, and shit gonna go with your way you want it to go. It's, it's just plain and simple like that. Yeah, man, you just want to just cry out to people, man. Do you hear the cries of the people? These are from dudes we know what it's like. And, uh, you know, in priority, get a relationship with that man upstairs because...
did point you in the path that you need to go. Definitely you know find what I mean? yourself. Definitely yeah, find Because we didn't know who we was. <laughs> we know who we are today. We got to take care of bills, take care of our fans. And, and feed the kids. Yeah, feed our community, man, because because of the destruction we did, there's children out here that's going to sleep hungry. There's no parents in the home. Uh, we want to change that. Get you know right, get back to your community. That's the key. Stick together, get back to your community, man. Yeah. Because don't nobody else care about us like we should. And that, that's just plain and simple, man. Man, that's, that, that's, what, that's what it's all about. It's all about being real. You know, we go to these church buildings and all this stuff, but nah, it ain't about that building. It's about us. We make the difference. You know what I mean? We go in the building to learn. Without you got, after you get what you learn, what you gonna do with it? It's like having a wealth, but you got a bucket. Carry your wealth, they got a hole at the bottom. That's hustling backwards. Find your trade, get what you're good at, stick with it, and take it to the top. She's telling you, what you're going to be doing, they're giving out time like it ain't no good. No <laughs> hey. Catching 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I got homeboys doing 160 years. Think about it. That, and then never see outside again. So it may look good to the naked eye, but man, when the people's getting that time, what you going to do with it? And that's real. When you wake up, you no, know, when you land on the ground with some holes in your head, blood leaking out, and next thing you know, your life gone. And then what you going to do when life is gone? That's the real thing. There ain't no money out here no more. Man, these dudes, pop, man, they getting making a hundred dollars a day and they popping them pills with like eighty dollars of it. So I mean, it's, it don't make no sense. We're killing each other, hurting each other for what? Just do right, stay in school. That's the key. Education. Bam. <laughs> <laughs>